Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I have a, a package from Twisby that I've been super freaking excited about. I have been waiting for this since it was first announced. Some of you probably already know what it is. If you don't, then um, you're in for a treat. <clears throat> because this is probably Twisby's most exciting release since the Twisby Eco. <clears throat> Pardon me. At least for those of us that don't have a ton of money. <clears throat> Alright. So. This is the Twisby Go. Um, real quick, I just want to compare it to... This is the packaging for a Twisby um, 580, Mini, VAC 700, etc. The Twisby Eco packaging is slightly more like this. This is for the um, M2, or the Moonman M2. But it's like kind of this plastic frosted thing. But Twisby normally does a really good job with their packaging. So let's see how uh, let's see how this one is. I think it's a sapphire color. So it slides out. Very nice. Slightly flimsier cardboard than normal. Um, at least it feels that way to me. It, I, I may be going crazy. Um, very very clean box here. I like this a lot. This would make a great gift box for someone if you got this as a gift. You know, I think this would actually be really really cool. Um, so it's, it is plastic. It's not a cardboard or anything like that, so that's nice. Let's pull off the top here. Oh, it's oh, it has a sticker. Uh, stickers. This one just didn't hold down very well. That's fine. That is one hundred percent okay. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. Let's see. So you have an instruction booklet that no one is ever going to read, probably, unless you've never used a fountain pen before. Um, a very sturdy chunk of foam, and um, no tools or anything like that. So we'll kind of put that box to the side. I'll give you a quick, quick glance at the manual. Twisby's normally pretty uh, concise about these things. So yeah, that's how you fill it. <clears throat> okay, I'm super excited, so let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> Quick comment. So I actually was kind of worried about the quality of plastic on this pen, but it feels to be about that of the Eco. Um, it does have some facets here at the back, which is interesting. You can kind of see... Let me get my camera to focus here. You can kind of see them here at the back where all those... There's one there, one back here, and one over here. So that's nice. <clears throat> this has sort of a keychain hole up here, which I do not like, but it does function as a roll stop, so that's nice. Um, this is the Sapphire Edition. You can also get it in smoke at the moment. I'm sure they will do limited edition colors of this, though, because it is Twisby. This is a pop cap instead of a twist, which is nice. I don't like the color of this section. This looks inexpensive, and I can definitely feel the injection molding lines, which is odd for a Twisby pen. I'm not... I understand that it cuts some cost, but, you know. <clears throat> um, grip section feels um, like a slightly more exaggerated eco T. You can see much more clearly on this one that there are indeed some ridges to hold your grip in one place. Um, there is an inner cap seal in there. It does kind of match this. I feel like there's too much going on in this cap though. I think it looks kind of eh, but that kind of goes throughout the pen. So. Personal preference. Um, it does post, although I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be 100% honest with you, it feels like this cap will snap at some point. This is very, very thin plastic, and I'm bending it already. You can see that. Um, I don't know how it's going to hold up. We'll see. But the pen feels, you know, not bad. Pretty good in my hand. Um, I did get it in a broad. And I really, really like Twisby's nibs. They're very, very good in my experience. So let's take a look at what makes this special. <clears throat> this is the filling mechanism. It's, uh, it functions kind of like a piston, but it's on this spring, so you can just push this down. That is stiffer than I imagined at first, but after you press it the first time, it's, it's not too bad. It does offer a decent bit of resistance. It doesn't feel like it's going to wear out anytime soon. Um, but yeah, it looks like it holds a, a decent amount of ink. and not, you know, not a crazy amount, but not too bad. And I know you can actually disassemble this. Let's see. That is not cool. Okay, so there's a little metal collar up here near the top that um, can come off, which is not great. 
At least I believe you can disassemble this. I could be wrong. I think it's the other, yeah, there we go, it's the other way. Sorry, it's twisting it the wrong way. So you can take off that. Do not let the spring go, it will fly out at you. Then you can remove the spring. And then you can pull out the rest of the mechanism right there. You can just pull it straight out. So that's uh, interesting. The plastic um, is kind of marred on here. That may have been from me. I'm not going to blame Twisby for that. That was highly likely that it was from me, but it's just fine. It doesn't really bother me, especially on a pin this cheap. Gonna be honest, I think this would be an absolutely fantastic introduction to pins for um, younger people or people who have no idea what a fountain pen is and are interested in the hobby. Um, it seems to have a very simplistic and reliable filling mechanism. Build quality isn't terrible, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's cheap enough to match kind of um, what they're going for here. To me, it feels, and this is going to be a bit rude, more like a um, $10 to $15 pen rather than an $18 pen. But that's just my first impressions. I will be filling this up and using it for the next couple of days, and we will have a review in hopefully a, a week or two. I'm, I'm a little bit behind on my reviews, but... I'll try to get them out there. Um, if you guys have any questions about this pen or anything like that, let me know down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.